Hey you guys, hey you guys, hey you guys, how you guys are doing? It's your girl Bria. I come with a quick little message. My message to you is um finding peace and joy in the midst of your storm. You see, when you pay attention to what you paying attention to and where you putting your attention and focus on, you're making plans, or are you just sitting down? Woulda, shoulda, coulda. Or you got it's 24 hours in a day. Are you applying yourself? Are you creating generational wealth? Or are you sitting down waiting for someone else to do it all for you? You have to find peace in the midst of your storm. Find your joy in the midst of the storm. In the midst of the heartache. In the midst of the betrayal. In the midst of the financial lack. In the midst of your homeless. the midst of your depression. Whatever it is that you may be faced with, you have to learn to find your peace and your joy in it. See, storms come. Storms don't always come to tear stuff up. Some storms come to calm stuff down. Some st storms come to awaken stuff within you. Some storms come to cleanse you. A lot of times you don't want to go through the storm. A lot of times you feel like the storm is rough and it's hard, but it doesn't always have to be there. You got to find joy, peace, and whatever you in, whatever situation that you're in. I don't care if you're living in a shack, you heard me, with holes in the roof. Find joy and peace of what you have because somebody somewhere don't have a place to live. Somebody somewhere <clears throat> sleeping on the streets. I don't care if you're driving a 1965 Buick, you heard me, with bullet holes in it. Be grateful, find the joy that you have a vehicle because somebody somewhere don't have that. You understand what I'm saying? I don't care if you're struggling to take care of your children. You know, find joy and peace in having those children because somebody somewhere don't have any kids and they're wishing and praying that they did have kids. You have to learn to find joy and peace in whatever storm that you may be in at this pleasant time. You have to learn to be grateful, be thankful through it all, no matter what it looks like. Through it all, God has something better for you. What you need? God has something better for you in the freezer. God has something better for you in the deep freezer. He has it better for you. Excuse me, you guys. Talk to my children. God has something way better for you. Way better than you have in yourself. But whatever, wherever you at right now in life, whatever you have going on, find your peace. Find your joy. Listen, every day is not going to be a good day. We go through problems. We are human beings. We're not going to always be up. We're not going to always feel our best. We're not going to always be the best. All you can do is be the best that you can be. And that's it. You understand? It, when you try to prove stuff to other people, is that's when things get out of chaos, got to get in chaos and have it, and you start losing things because you're trying to compete with somebody else. But when you're being your true, authentic self, you find peace and joy in everything, okay? Hey, I might not have this and I might not have that, but it's fine. It's fine. But what I do have, I'm grateful for what I do have. I am, I am, I'm not in competition with anybody. And that's what a lot of y'all have to get to know. Y'all got to get through your head. Stop trying to be in competition with different people about different things because guess what? I guarantee you, you may see somebody with a Bentley Coupe, a, uh, 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 Maserati and all the rest of this, but guess what? They going home miserable. You understand? A lot of a lot of y'all look at money and think that that's gonna make happy. Listen, God knows what you need to survive. He knows that you need money, but the way some of y'all going about getting this money, the way some of y'all are selling y'all soul and betraying betraying y'all own self to get this money, is not the way that it should go. You should not have to rob, kill, steal, or cheat or hurt or steal from nobody for you to eat okay you can't steal from nobody else to feed your family because you and your family are going to starve worse than y'all were starving before by you trying to take something that belongs to someone else that's what you fail to realize that's what y'all have to get y'all have to get in tune with yourself when you learn to start studying things when you learn to start um, sitting down and really observing yourself, taking accountability for the things that you do, the things that you say on how you move out here is very big. Okay. Because we're going to go through things. You think this storm you're going through right now, just it? Hell no. You about to have some storms that are way going to be way worse than the storm you're going through now. Trust me. 
You're going to have some way worse than that. But you got to learn to find your peace and find your joy in whatever it is that you're going through. You're not going to be the first relationship that slid. You're not going to be the first single mother. You're not going to be the first person to lose a job. You're not going to be the first person that be molested. You're not going to be the first person that be homeless. You're going to be the first person that don't have no call. You're not going to be the first person who children are sick. You're not going to be the first person who children are getting locked up. You're not going to be the first. You're not going to be all this, but find joy in the midst of the storm. As long as you do the best that you can do, always do your best at every given time, no matter what it is. No matter what it is, do your best and allow God to do the rest. We cannot fix everything by ourselves. Whether you're sing single, married, in a situation, whatever it is, you cannot fix everything by yourself. Sometimes your spouse cannot fix what you need them to fix. It's nobody but God can fix the things that you need. Sometimes your pastor can, can't fix the things that you need. It's God. Stop going to him last and go to him first about everything. You got to go to him first so you can have peace in the midst of your storm. Peace in the midst of your storm. Everything around you falling. Your bills piled up. You don't have no food, no money to feed your children. Oh, everything going on. You done lost your job. Your marriage on rocks. Uh, your, your husband then walked away for you. Your husband then had babies. Your wife then cheated on you. You're, you're finding out children ain't choice. Whatever it is, find peace and joy in the midst of that storm. Do not give the enemy, the devil, do not give him glorification. You heard me? Saying you can't get ahead because of him. You can't get ahead because you're not applying yourself to get ahead. You letting these circumstances, situations, and problems keep you down, keep you formed to some. Find joy in the midst of your storm. Find your joy. Find your peace in the midst. Because God is the one who can keep you. He's the one that can save you. He's the one that can make a way out of no way for you. And y'all listen, a lot of times, us as people, I'm talking about myself too. Us as people, when we face with a problem, at first we started wor we start worrying about the problem. Then we catch our head and, and, and we got to know that he's the only one that can fix our problems. A lot of times, a lot of times we want to put our hands in things. But we know that that's not good to put our hands in things. We know that God is going to make a way out of no way for us. And we have to allow ourselves in the storm to have joy. In the storm, have your peace. In the storm, be grateful for the things that you have going on in your storm. He's going to keep you. He's going to keep you no matter what. But you have to trust in him in the midst of your storm. In the midst of your storm, he's looking for you. He wants you. He wants to help you in the midst of your storm. Find that joy. Find that peace. Find everything you need in the midst of your storm. Let go. Let God. This storm right here is it's almost over, baby. Keep pressing forward. Keep allowing him. To do what he needs to do for you. Just keep allowing him. Just keep. Just keep pressing. Keep pressing. Keep letting him know. You heard me? Keep letting him know. Lord, I trust you. Might not seem like it, but Lord, I trust you. I believe in you, Lord. Because I know what you can do. You're going to make a way out of no way. For me. Just trust in him. Trust and believe in him at all times. He got you. In your storm. Find your peace. And find your joy in the midst of your storm. It's your girl, Bree. I love you guys. Have a blessed and prosperous day.